Hey, what's up? This is Matt Stryker, and uh, over the last 15 and a half years, I've learned a lot about this great business from some of the greatest minds to ever step inside a ring. And today I'm here at High Spots to help to try to give just that much of my knowledge to the future of this business. I really feel that the most important way to honor the legends that have taken time to teach me is to teach others. And that's what we're going to do here today. Some of this stuff might seem a little strange to you, because it's me. And some of this stuff just might not register yet. But if you take one thing from today, I promise you, you'll be better off than when you started. Trust me. You gave me the tackle and you went and took off before I did anything? Go ahead, take off. Go ahead. Fuck you. I'm not staying there. I'm not getting up for the next spot. But, but, not but. It tells me you're an idiot. All of them. I'm like, fuck, get, am I getting you at all? Maybe yeah, once. Yeah. I've shown you four different ways to sell something that everyone and their mother has sold the same way for 100 years. Why? <laughs> Why don't we do this? <laughs> Let me ask you something. Instead of doing this, why don't you do that? Remember the headlock? I don't know him. Fuck him. He's actually turning my wrist a little bit too hard and I'm starting not to like it. I don't care. See that? Ah! Fuck! Where's my head? Boom! There it is. Bang! Now I'm a real asshole. Look at the story I'm telling. I wrestled Evan Bourne and um, I hit him with a couple of moves, a couple of moves. One, two, kick out, one, two, kick out. And we were sitting just like this. And the camera was facing me just like that. And I knew it was too. And I looked just over the camera and I went. And Vince said to me that I did more for him with that face than any move I could have done. Because it told the people, shit, the kid's not that bad. <laughs> Why am I kicking his ass? Cause he hit me, right? So where's my hand go? Ah, you motherfucker! Who the fuck you think you are? You fucking hit me, you fucking piece of shit! Fuck you! And it's real and it's sloppy. And he's even he got up and looked at me because he did not like that. One thing that you do is gonna get you noticed. I will tell you this. And WWE scouts go to all these shows. Some of these kids, some of these marks that you see right there, they put reports into WWE. They know you, they see you, they watch you. And in this day and age, every idiot has a cell phone and a camera. Everything you do lives forever. I am not six feet tall. And I'm about 210 pounds when I'm really working out, 205 now. I kept the job with WWE for almost 10 years for two reasons. One, which we're gonna get to, and not the way you're thinking, I can talk. Obviously. Two, I took great bumps. Triple H once said to me, when I first got to WWE, I had a little bit of a hard time fitting in. Can't imagine why. Uh, and I went to Triple H and I was like, man, you know, what do I do? The, the, fucking, the guys hate me. Everyone gives me shit, whatever. That. And he said, listen, you can talk. And you can sell your ass off. Eventually those guys are going to want to work with you. I go, what do you mean? Well, if you can make my shit look great, I don't have to fucking want to have dinner with you. But if you make my shit look good, I'm gonna to wanna to work with you. If you make people's shit look good, you're gonna get booked.